So I'm purposely, purposefully, purposely or purposefully? <laughs> I don't know. I'm purposefully, purposefully, sorry, purposefully define, purposely define, purpose, purposely, on purpose, intentionally, purposefully, in a way that shows determination or resolve with a useful purpose. Either word works. I am purposefully, purposely, uh, uh, keeping this coding raw, which means that I haven't worked out an example beforehand. I'm going to live code it with you. We're going to see how to take data uh, from a struct and, and marshal it and turn it into JSON. And I'm doing that so that you could see any turbulence or bumps I hit while doing it and uh, and then how I work that out. Because in that process, you're going to see how I read the documentation and how I make sense of the language. All right. So, and I'm also going to back it up and do it a little bit more slowly than if uh, I was just doing this on my own, because this is the first thing we want to do. We want to take some data and we want to marshal it. So I'm going to go to the Golang playground and we need, we need that data first. I think I could type in play. Yay. It's totally in memory. And so we'll do this uh, uh, struct that we've done so many times before type person and it's a uh, struct. And I'm going to intentionally leave things lowercase here so you could see everything not work. And we'll do first, and that's a string. And we'll do last, and that's a string. And we'll do age, and that is uh, int. And then uh, I guess we could even go full bore and do type secret agent. And we could do struct. And um, I'm just thinking about this. How do I collect them all? I'm going to just stick with person. All right. So uh, now let's create some people. P1 is equal to composite literal person. And, uh, and then here we have, right, composite literal, the type, the curly braces, and then we put our values in there. And so we're going to do first, and it'll be James. And we'll do last, and it'll be Bond. And we will do age, and it'll be 32. And then we'll do Miss Moneypenny. And that'll be P2, and that'll be Miss, and that'll be Money Penny, and this will be 27. All right, so we have two people, and now we could have uh, we could have people, and people will be be equal to a slice of person, and we could put our values in there, and trailing comma, and you know best practice is like that, like that's the way you should put a lot of stuff, but. Uh, for something like this, I said best practices like that. That's the practice that you should go for the most, but sometimes it's fine in my perspective to do it on one line just because it's very readable. All right, so now we have that, and we could print all of that out, and we could see what that looks like. So here is our data, and it's just Go data, right? That's just in our Go program. But let's say we need to send this data to somebody, so we want to marshal it. So how do we go, go use marshal? So we come here and there's Marshall right there. So I'm, it takes a value of any type, returns a slice of byte and an error. So without even reading that, it's gonna return a byte, a slice of byte, byte slice and an error, colon equal from package JSON, Marshall, and it takes a value of any type. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna format that and it brought in, cause I have this checked, when I formatted it, it brought in the code package in, from, from package encoding forward slash JSON, brought in that package, and notice that that package is encoding forward slash JSON, but down here I just call it with JSON, right? So it's just referring to that part, JSON, just like fumped referred to this part right here, the package. That's the package right there. And now I need to check my error. So if error is not equal to nil, we're going to fumped.println. Let's print that error out. Otherwise, we could do a fump.println, and we're going to do a convert our byte slice to a string and format it. And let's see if that runs. So uh, it ran, and it gave us nothing. Da, 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 da. And we knew it was going to give us nothing because these are lowercase. Now, interestingly, if I just make the fields, if I just make the fields uppercase, with uh, Marshall, it will grab the fields and export them, even though the outer struct is uh, lowercase. 
I have like 90% certainty on that. <laughs> Having a moment of doubt. Let's run that. Unknown field age. So I missed one right there. All right. Yeah, so C first, James, last bond, age 32. First, miss, last money, penny, age 27. And so that's taken our code here and turned it into a JSON, which we could then send to somebody. So that's really cool. Um, let's just read about Marshall right here. And that's, wow, got a really big definition. We'll just read the first part of it so we get used to it. Funk Marshall. Uh, so here we have the definition of that function. It's a function. And, uh, and Marshall is the identifier of the name of the function. Empty interface means it takes a value of any type and it returns a slice of bytes and an error. Marshall returns the JSON encoding of V. So V is this right there. Marshall traverses the value V recursively. If an encounter value implements the Marshall interface and is not a nil pointer, Marshall calls its Marshall JSON method to produce JSON. Produce JSON. If no Marshall JSON method is present, but the value, so there's a few uh, nuances here, uh, and it just tells us how it encodes. We're not going to read any more of that. All right, so that's marshalling a value in uh, JSON, and in the next video we will take this and uh, and bring it back from uh, JSON and get it back into Go. Mm -hmm.